So this is an info video. Um, I was going to post a Norse gameplay with no commentary as well, but um, I started playing late in the stress test yesterday and uh, then I was missing that hour in the end. And I deleted the footage because it was like nine minutes and then I lost connection because they turned off uh, not the servers, but maybe the servers or the access to the servers. So I just recycled the Atlantean gameplay because there is a little bit of Norse on the right. You get to see the textures and whatever else. Now, this channel might end up dead for a while or I might keep posting to it. Depends on how will the upcoming month go and then after that, how will the four months after that go. And I might have a difficult time focusing because we have two dogs and one of them is uh, whining in the other room and he's been like that for three weeks now and he's just annoying everyone and we've tried to find out what's wrong and it's just nothing works and he keeps on being like that so and I can hear it you can but I can't hear it through the door I digress the next month I have last attempt on two exams Neither of which is even remotely related to or important for the job or profession of a translator slash interpreter. One of them is linguistics and the other is the theoretical part of the use of the English language. It's like translation and interpreting is theoretical in only getting the key elements of how to translate slash interpret. And the dog is really starting to annoy me because he's moved right to the door now. Let me try and focus. No, I can't. I just can't fucking do it. He's so annoying. I went away on the first try of this as well I took him outside if he would like need to to piss or do something but no he just stood there and it's not a deficiency of vitamin D they have vitamin D in the in the food that parents buy for them okay uh, where was I right neither of those is even remotely important and in the case of the linguistics exam even remotely related not even rem remotely related to what I'm studying and uh, the university acknowledges that as well indirectly because these two things and I think one or two others more are going to be set as optional starting in the next academic year for anyone who goes to study this study course so it's like <laughs> I might fail because of those two but they won't be a thing for anyone else who comes after. And I've shown excellence in... in uh, the key translator and interpreter subjects. Not in all of them, but in... in quite a bunch I have. So it's like... it's, it's very annoying that this that I might feel because of something that I didn't go there to study but is tacked on because reason or reasons All right so if I fail the next month I'll probably have to find a job probably have to enter the workforce where will that be I don't know maybe in this country maybe I'll travel abroad even though the where it's safe, in the east, the pay would be lower, much lower, and people would be probably nicer. But the goal of a job for me is not to make friends or anything else, it's just to make money so that I can then do what I want and not be bothered by anyone or anything else. Which would of course mean that I would have to be a billionaire, but I digress. The goal for me in a job is to make money. And... So, in the East, I would probably not make much money. In the West, I probably maybe would make much money. But uh, it's quite dangerous there. And I don't mean uh, like just in the capital city, but in the policies, the governments, etc, etc. 
And so now what? Um, if I do succeed, however, I then I split the or I postponed when I'll have to do the diploma work and have the state exams. So that's the four months after that. If I if I succeed in the next month, then I'll have four months to redo my diploma work, which I finished, but the diploma work lead doesn't like it. So I'll have to redo some parts and prepare for state exams. Uh, but uh, that alone wouldn't be enough. Now, I had any interpersonal relationship relationships. If they get emotional, it affects me quite severely. E especially more so if they're happening in family. So... When the father's being hostile or uh, I maybe would even go so far as to say abusive towards somebody in the family and that includes the dogs because he definitely wasn't nice to one of them uh, it was just a few occasions but it, it just whatever So I have a problem with interpersonal relationships when they get emotional or when I start feeling emotion from that and or from something that's happening. And four or five years ago, my grandma got cancer or maybe five to six. And I spent a lot of time driving her to the chemotherapy and back or not chemotherapy. She only got the a radiation treatment. Um, so I was driving her to the hospital and back for several weeks. And she doesn't have the... She's not nasty, but she can be erosive to one's patience, to put it that way. But then that went by. Then there was a period of father being an absolute... Arrogant and not nice to anyone around him, especially my mother. And that period was before then as well, but then it escalated again. And I think that that was the cause of my mother getting cancer. She had cancer of one body part, and then that body part was ultimately removed. Then the cancer spread to two others, a part of a body part, part of her intestine large intestine was removed and now um, she's dealing with like fourth type of cancer or fourth cancer of an or cancer of an inner organ for the fourth time so by body part i didn't say that but i meant organ and this time it's i don't know if that's how it's called in english but i think it's the stomach lining from the inside which is very difficult to treat and uh it's not me who's sick with cancer, but it affects me very much, and I think more than it would affect someone else in my position. And so, um, waking up every day and wondering, right, how many days until she has a checkup, or how many days until the Oncological Commission uh, gathers and takes into consideration all scenarios and says, okay, this is treatable or this isn't treatable and whatever, and suggests a treatment. It wasn't nice to go through. And I, I understand that it's even less nice to go through that, not as a spectator, but as a someone who has that. But anyway, The commission gathered, and uh, because I'm not getting teary, you can probably guess that it is the uh, scenario where it is treatable. And she's set for treatment, so I'll probably end up driving her to and from. So it's nice. Hopefully, it's the last time she has to deal with cancer. But... I know that's a lie, because 
as long as she's nearby my father, he still behaves as if nothing changed. There's one American comedian, Tim Dillon. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast. I don't watch Joe Rogan much, but I did watch some episodes because they were interesting. Like with that guy who talked about crystallization patterns and that he patented something and that there's that math, gravity and whatever. It was it was a episode that maybe had something to it, maybe didn't. But he said boomers have lived their whole lives without learning anything and that's something that takes a lot of effort to do. I don't exactly know if my parents are boomers, they're like 55, 56. But even if there are even if they aren't, it definitely fits my father because I think he's he has unresolved childhood problems, childhood issues because he never got to meet his father. He had a foster father that his mother married. And uh, he, he even said it himself several times, but just doesn't do anything with that. And it's like he tries to get what he would have needed back then from his father. He tries to get that from us. So he's, or the feelings that he feels maybe toward his father that he never met, he try, he just blows out on us. So a lot of the time he's arrogant. A lot of the time he's very jumpy and hostile. And I think that uh, the way he behaved toward my mother was the reason why he got, why she got cancer. And I, she arrived at that position as well. And I told him that and she told him that. And he's just, even when she has cancer, he behaves like nothing has changed. And that's, it's so draining to put up with his bullshit time and time again with his excuses with his whatever else and not nobody's perfect maybe other than jesus well, who knows but it's just so grating so erosive corrosive so impossible to comprehend Like he says he loves her, but at the same time, he doesn't change anything. He doesn't try any harder to make anything easier on her. He's just... Completely dull, I would say. And that probably fits that maybe he had to turn dull when he was growing up to not go crazy because his foster father didn't interact with him much. And just told him that uh, he fucks up and just didn't interact with him much. So, you know, that was a harsh childhood. Well, I think he could be a lot better of a parent. I think he could be a lot better of a husband. Although I haven't been married, so I'm just estimating but uh, if anything else I at least know what not to be if I ever decided to have a family and I'll I think I'll try really hard to not be like him he doesn't have just negatives he has positives as well but all of this combined has been eroding my will to be productive eroding my will to just keep existing because I thought about suicide quite a lot of times in the past half a year, but I know I wouldn't do it. It's just... Add on top of that the fact, or the fact, maybe you can consider it an opinion, but I would say a fact, that the... Uh, a young individual who doesn't have, isn't uh, the child of a CEO or somebody influential and doesn't live in the West in an urban area with much higher pay 
and also a much higher danger. Due to cultural enrichment, positive discrimination, known as DEI and more. How do you expect to make money outside of outside of those urbanized or urban areas in the West? Yeah, you can strike a gold mine and maybe have a great one-time investment or get a great position at some company. That doesn't fulfill me. That doesn't interest me either. I just, if I could ever make enough money to not have to give a shit about how much money I have or if I will have enough for this or that, that would be perfect for me. That's not the case, however, so regardless of how the next month goes, or maybe, yeah, regardless of how the next month goes and then the four months after that, it's a question I'll have to resolve eventually, and it's not a question I have an answer for. And as far as I can tell, it's like, in my opinion, technological advancement has been stopped by somebody, and I think it's uh, not a conspiracy to think that because... Look at the things that are currently being used to pry society apart from each other. Oh, global. No, no, not global. Climate change. Ooh. You know, when I was young, when I was a teen, it was global warming. But then that global warming was nowhere to be seen, so I changed it to climate change. When you ask them what what is climate change, it's like, oh, the planet's getting too warm. No, it's not. Ooh, the planet's getting too cold. No, it's not, although it is closer to being cold than to being warm. It's because there are glacial and interglacial periods when the when Earth is closer or farther away from the sun, which affects the climate. Humans only contribute 0.00001% to Earth's climate, or 0.01% and half, 0.01% over the entire course of human existence. 0.01% is how much humans have affected Earth's climate. But I digress. Things that are currently being used to split society, and climate change being one of them, wouldn't be an issue if technology for power generation has advanced. Or if, you know, technology for job automation, such as robots powered by, not an AI, but by some sort of module, could be used in factories and wherever else. Because what is key to a successful or powerful something? It's being modular. If something isn't modular, it, you can make it to be great and achieve great effects with it. But I think a modular something, I don't know, a modular tank or... Because I can't currently think of an example, but I feel like that's a good thing to say, a good opinion, a good idea that if you have something modular, it's way more universal and way more useful and has way more potential that way and then so like ai bots could be way more universal than an assembly line for cars or whatever but probably less efficient i digress case in point being i think technology advancement has been suppressed and halted for the past 60 years and so like it, I, w I would be very interested in, like, may maybe I would be more interested in trying to earn money and live if if there was something to look forward to, be it like technological advancement. Like, ooh, what's this? That's very interesting. I want to have that. There isn't anything of that sort. Um, and I think I arrived at a point where it's just becoming too many disconnected thoughts or will soon become too many disconnected thoughts so far i think i managed to keep it connected but i think i ran out of focus so i'll maybe this channel will keep having videos posted to it by me maybe it won't i'll see how the next month goes it's not that I don't think life is worth living, it's that I think it's not worth living as a mediocre individual, which very much probably is just a very niche opinion. Because there are many people who are perfectly happy and fine with being mediocre, and that's all they want. I 
don't think a mediocre life is what I want. That doesn't mean that I want a violent life or a life of war and fighting. It's just... Maybe there are fantastical worlds and civilizations and whatever else in the space. Because we know so little about space. Did you know, for example, that outside of our galaxy, which is, one could say, kept in place, which is an oxymoron in regards to space, but, you know, kept in place in space by a gravitational field and that outside of our galaxy there's estimations that everything moves millions of kilometers fast just whooshing past or maybe that maybe it was thousands of kilometers just there are so many things moving so fast and we know so little about outside of the galaxy but I guess I was born too early to explore space, or even if I could, I probably wouldn't be qualified to explore space, because I'm not a hero. I try to be... not a hero, but I try to be a good person. And... Uh, there's just lack of motivation for anything on my end. But I also think it's not just my fault, I think it's... Uh, that may sound entitled, but I think this world shifting away from motivating humans to exist to Okay, now I don't know what I was going to end up with. I digress. That's it for this video. Maybe I'll keep posting, maybe I won't. I've lost a lot of uh, will to do many things. Maybe that's partially on me. Because I still want a harem of girls, and not just one, but many, because eventually one harem would get boarding, boring. But of course I'm not a billionaire that looks like out of some Disney movie or something. So it's just, even the things that I would want that might be achievable by me, are probably unrealistic. Uh, the, do the dog has been whining for the past three minutes again. He stopped for a while and now he started again and I'm having trouble focusing. So maybe the last three minutes, anything I said in the last three minutes maybe didn't make much sense or didn't communicate what I wanted to communicate with it. I digress. For the like fourth or fifth time. Maybe I'll keep posting, maybe I won't. I don't know, and I don't know if anyone knows. But, um... Stormgate is set to come out in, what, three dates? Maybe I'll make some videos of that. Even though it looks too cartoony, unlike StarCraft and WarCraft, which is one big downside the game has, I think, in becoming popular. And a game can look like cartoony and be popular, like Fortnite, but in there the cartooniness works. In Stormgate I don't think it does. We'll see. And then in five weeks this game, Age of Mythology Retold, launches, so maybe I'll buy that. We'll see. Maybe I'll make videos of that. But by then I'll be at a point where I'll know if I get four more months of air quotes free time before I have to join the workforce or if I have to go right away and I don't know how much energy will that leave me I haven't worked I have worked full time for a year and it was not something I enjoyed it was something I grew to hate existentially oh, well. so maybe I'll keep posting maybe I won't that's enough the dog is really disrupting my focus. And I'll see you whenever I decide to post something. If you watch to the end, thanks. I don't know if this video will give you anything, but maybe it will give you a few things to think about. Maybe it won't. That's it.
Oh, on a final note, all of my bodily hair, except the hair on my head, has started going gray. I don't think you can see it. I would have to get really up close to the camera, which I don't currently want to do, but like, my facial hair is gray. And also here on my hands and whatever. So that's it. See you whenever I post a video if you decide to watch. Because I couldn't do a, a window capture, I had to do a display capture. I get to see my OBS. Ooh.